Hi, this is Shiny, and I'm a little bit plain today, but please bear with me. So, let's talk about Little Woman Atlanta. So, the show ended today, which is Wednesday, and we're going to talk about this episode. So, it starts off with Minnie and her telling her mother that she is out. She needs to get out. She has two weeks to find her own place so Minnie can turn her place into a freak nick because obviously Minnie is, is on that whole I'm a new woman and I need space for what? To freak Minnie? So her mom already knows, she can see it in her face that Minnie has something to confess to her about their living arrangements. So, of course, her mom's like, just come out with it. Well, mom, you need to go. And her mom was like, I was planning on staying for six months, which really, in reality, she's planning on staying with Minnie for a very, very long time. And I believe more than six months. Especially since Minnie broke off with that guy. So, her mom was like, I just want to, um, you know, things happen. I got put out and... I want to get my mind together and work and <laughs> it's hilarious but she confesses and her mom agrees that okay since you're ready to live on your own then I will start making arrangements to move out so it goes on to uh, money and Marlon so Marlon is back thanks to Minnie and Juicy him and his ass up as she say and they get back and he confesses that he still do love money however there are some things that they do have to work on so long story short he tells money that the wedding is still off and that he just wants to take things day by day I don't know how good that's gonna be considering that they have been in a relationship and they were moving forward as far as getting married now the wedding is off so um, I'm keeping my fingers fingers crossed for me for money in her relationship with Marlon don't quite know what he's up to but seems as if next week some things come out about money and some things that she's done based on many. So, goes on to tie in her living situation. Far as Nico, is he coming back? He left. He's he, it's too much to handle for him. He still needs some growing up to do. And her daughter's father comes to pick up her son, who is by Nico. And he tells her that he's always going to help and support her when it comes to his daughter and Nico's son. So he takes Nico's son and goes to be with his little sister. I think that's a very good relationship that she has. And I understand that she actually cheated on the guy who was the father of her daughter with Nico and had her son, unfortunately. However, she's pregnant again by Nico and he's still not able to step up to the plate. So can't wait to see what's up next with Tanya and her situation with Nico. Seems as if next week is going to be real juicy. And Juicy has some confessions about Nico based on Samantha. So Samantha is back in town and keeping drama. So quote unquote he is Nico, Nicholas, has been out of the closet for quite some time and is a homosexual. And so we're going to find out what, what's true about it. I know there was pictures floating around on the internet as well of, as a guy who sort of looks like him kissing another man. So we just definitely got to see what's up with that. So... Um, the tiny twins, there is um, Amanda and Andrea. Amanda says 
to her sister and Minnie while they're out shopping for Amanda's daughter that her boyfriend she felt that it was a perfect moment for him to get engaged with her however he felt like it was a perfect moment for the saxophone so she did not like that she told her sisters about it and they uh, sister and Minnie about it and both Minnie and Andrea agreed that Amanda should tell him her boyfriend how it feels that she was expecting more from the dinner than just a saxophone player so the going gets tough all the ladies hook up juicy d displays her bobblehead doll which is supposed to be a splitting image of her they're all at a surprise party for marlin which is a casino setting and kind of like a harlem nights atmosphere all the ladies come dressed up in their wonderful outfits to display who they are and their um choice of attire so everybody's excited but many had a party i guess the day before week of, before you never know because it's a tv show at her home to display her new home only Ju juicy and tanya did not show up only people showed up was many i mean money and the twins and some way somehow at the surprise party for marlon in his building that he lives in uh many can't sit still she has to confess that she did not appreciate people who she really don't rock with who she really aren't friends with juicy and tanya not coming now i can understand tanya not coming because really her and Minnie are not really good friends. Um, and she is pregnant. So it could have been one of those moments where, well, you know, I'm not feeling well. I would like to go, but really, I don't even know Minnie like that. And I'm pregnant. So, I mean, give her some breathing room. But she really gets disgusted with Juicy. She says Juicy always likes to display things or make herself the center of attention at a moment where it doesn't need to be. So Tanya brings it up at the table that, hey, I think you're acting like you're a little bit jealous that you're hating. Minnie says she's not hating, gets a piece of chicken and puts on top of Juicy's bobblehead. Really? Really, Minnie? So, Juicy is totally disgusted. She grabs the bottle, bobble head, and, you know, decides to cause it quits. It's time to go. So, Minnie feels a certain way because Tanya butted in about something that was going on between her and Juicy. The tiny twins begin to instigate as they hear Tanya and Juicy talking about how they don't like Minnie based on her actions. The tiny twins instigate so much so that now Minnie feels like it's her time to show out and call names and talk about both Juicy and especially Tanya. Depending on Tanya's situation that you know Nico is not right around at the moment and that um she is pregnant once again with her now her third child and Minnie makes the comment at least I ain't hopping on dick after dick after dick please hide your children please I'm sorry <laughs> I just had to go with the flow but this is PG-13 okay so she goes and says that to Tanya and Tanya comes back please PG-13 well, at least I'm getting some dick. <laughs> oh my God. I got two dicks. So, oh my God. So, and then Minnie threatens to harm a pregnant woman, which is Tanya, based on the comments. Because she came to the rescue, as she thought, for Juicy. So definitely these little women are a mess 
and they definitely know how to bring the heat on Wednesday. I absolutely love the show and enjoy watching it. So please be sure to watch it if you have a chance to on Wednesday nights. Um, I think it's 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So please be sure to watch. You would enjoy it if you love a little bit of drama in your life and some entertainment because this is totally entertaining. Um, I'm going to be back next week and later on this week to do a weekend wrap up. So if you enjoy watching, please like, subscribe, and comment. Yes, press that little red button below and subscribe. Um, also, I do couponing on my network uh, channel here on YouTube. So please be sure to look out for that. Um, it's a hobby of mine that I've developed. I've been doing it for like a little bit over a month and a half. And I really enjoy it. It really, I really do. So thank you for watching. This is Shani.